if you want to. The definition is very simple. It means the unlawful use of force and violence to intimidate, brutalize, bully, harass, injure, maim, and kill civilians of state authority to achieve political aim. We use violence to achieve political aim. Your Excellency, this was what happened yesterday. Those who planned and financed this violent insurrection had only one aim, and that is to achieve their political objective by using violence to kill, destroy, injure, loot, and destroy the image of Sierra Leone. That is the political objective. So please, I am an academic. I have written extensively on these matters. So don't insult my intelligence that I don't know what I'm talking about when I use the term terrorism and terrorism. That's why I gave you a very simple, basic definition. The objective of this political group, using known international criminal residents in the Netherlands, is to violently obstruct the peace, security, and stability of the country, and to violently disrupt the daily and normal activities of ordinary Sierra Leoneans, and to present to the international community the semblance of anarchy, and to make Sierra Leone look bad in the eyes of the international community, creating the impression that Sierra Leone is ungovernable, and in the process, give a very bad publicity to the image and reputation of Sierra Leone as a law and order country and as a peaceful country. The fourth analysis. Your Excellency, this violent insurrection and terrorist attack took place only, and I repeat, only in Freetown, in the north and northwest of Sierra Leone. Again, your Excellencies, please forgive my undiplomatic commentary, and I don't want to insult your intelligence. But you don't have to be Albert Einstein to know that politically, Freetown, the North, and the Northwest are the strongholds of the opposition APC party. And the APC party is on record that they will make Sierra Leone ungovernable. Your Excellencies, you are aware that the opposition APC media groups and social media groups, including senior APC officers, councillors, and MPs, have been active on social media, openly supporting this so-called demonstration, and calling on people to rise up against the government. I'm sure for those of you who are tuned with what is happening nationally, you are aware of the hate speech of speeches by opposition APC senior leaders based on ethnic and tribal bigotry. Please don't tell me you haven't seen or heard of all of this. APC supporters and influencers are busy on social media calling on people to destroy and burn down government installations, government buildings, including state house, the law courts, etc., and even the assassination of the president and the first lady. These are all treasonable acts. But what we have not seen is the clear condemnation of these activities by the APC opposition. So of course, the political objective, as I've said, Firstly, to destabilize Sierra Leone. Secondly, to terrorize the people. Thirdly, to destroy the hard-won peace and security of this country. Your Excellency, let me conclude by restating President Dio's commitment to democracy and the rule of law and inclusive development in Sierra Leone for all Sierra Leoneans. President Dio is committed to maintaining and securing the hard-won peace, security, and stability of the country. Your Excellency, 
be rest assured that the event of this violent insurrection will be fully investigated and those found wanting and culpable through a fair and transparent judicial process will face the full force of the law. Your Excellency, let me reassure you that there will be no revenge. We are a responsible government, and it is our responsibility to protect the lives of all Sierra Leoneans. Be rest assured that government will not spare any resources to make sure that the perpetrators of this violent insurrection are held accountable for their actions and to remind all Sierra Leoneans that the laws of the land of Sierra Leone are supreme and must protect everyone in the country. Your Excellency, let me end by recognizing and thanking all those international and national agencies, including civil society organizations, that have come out to unequivocally condemn this violent insurrection. Let me in particular thank and acknowledge the ECOWAS community for coming out with a very clear statement. Let me also recognize and thank and appreciate our sister countries from Liberia and Guinea, whose foreign ministers have called consistently to reassure of their support, their solidarity to making sure that we bring about peace, security, and stability. I've also received telephone messages and calls from West African foreign ministers across Africa and many parts of the world whose foreign ministers have called to condemn first and foremost the violence and to show their support and solidarity with the government and people of Sierra Leone. I thank you for listening. But before I take my seat, I want us to spend some time to take a look. So please, it's going to take about two minutes. Here is the self-loading rifle. You don't come to a demonstration with a self-loading rifle. This is a pistol. You don't come to a demonstration with pistols. First casualty, OSD officers brutally killed. There's a particular clip I want us to see where one of the police officers brutally murdered, but at the same time, the same people they are using. This is the one. Take a look at this. This, this is a normal Sierra Leone. It's a kill. Can you go back to that clip? I want us to watch it, all of us. A police officer butchered, murdered to death, and still they are hacking him to death. Let's take a look at it. Some of these things. In our cool air conditioned offices, we are far removed from the reality. This is our reality. We are a police officer. If that happens in the United Kingdom, if that were to happen in the United States, the full force of the law will go after the perpetrators. There will be no question of human rights or fundamental freedoms. There will be no lectures. A female police officer just recently graduated. My studies to contribute to national development. And that is what we see. Can we go to the clip on the burning down of party offices? The SLPP party offices were brutalized, burnt down, vandalized. The attire pieces used for recreation, 
They are good to life. They are destroyed. Your Excellencies, let me close by commending all of those who have responded to this emergency situation, in particular the Office of National Security and the whole range of the security sector, the Syrian police force, the Department for Syrian Armed Forces, for their diligence in rapidly bringing this so-called demonstration, this violent insurrection under control to save lives and property. But let me also commend the Right Honorable Vice President for his astute leadership during this time of crisis. Uh, he was able to work a collective of teams, the security sector, and senior advisors from across government to make sure that the number one priority and national interest that is peace and security is restored. I'm pleased to inform you that His Excellency the President has arrived in Sierra Leone. I just believe him together with the Vice President. He's arrived in Sierra Leone. And based on security uh, briefing, the situation is under control. The security sector they have moved across the areas in the east as far as Waterloo to assert, to confirm that the security situation is normalized. People are going about their normal business. And I want to encourage you also, our friends and partners, please go about your normal business. Don't allow a small group of terrorists, that's what I always hear living in the United Kingdom, don't allow the terrorists to intimidate, bully, and, int and harass you. Don't allow the terrorists to intimidate and harass you. Encourage your staff to come out. 